Hello teachers! Nahihirapan o napapagod ka na bang mag-check ng napakaraming test papers ng mga students mo? Ng napakaraming uh, subjects? Ng napakaraming klase? So sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-check at mag-record ng test quizzes automatically as well as mayroon din tayong item analysis. So kung ready ka na, let's begin! So, ang una mong gagawin, using your phone, click the Play Store. After that, type in zip grade. Okay, so now we're going to install on our mobile phone the zip grade app. Click install. Accept. And let's wait for it to be installed on our cell phones. Okay, so now naka-install niya sa phone, click the icon zip grade and we're going to register as a new user. We're going to type in an email address, our email address, and we're going to create a password and confirm password. And then after uh, typing your password and confirming it, click the I agree. And then, register. Okay, so yan. Uh, uh, it is, uh, meron siyang 100 scans per month. So, meron siyang free na 100 scans per month. Pero kung gusto niyo na more than 100 per month, we need to purchase it. Magkakaroon siya ng payment. So, yan. Meron tayo ditong quizzes. Isa-isahin lang muna natin. Alam mo ng zip grade. Meron tayo ditong students kung saan ilalagay mo yung name ng pupils. We have the classes. You will write in the name of your class. We also have the tags. The cloud. Yan. For the subscription or for logging out. And then, we have the settings. Okay. And, uh, meron din tayo ditong Ayan. Ayan. And the help and tutorials. So, sa help and tutorials, meron ditong nakalagay na getting started. Kung saan nakalist yung uh, way kung paano gamitin si ZipGrade. And yung website kung saan ka pwedeng mag-download ng answer sheets. Yan sa www.zipgrade.com Pwedeng kunin ang mga answer sheets. Okay, it can create quiz, edit key, scan papers, review papers, and uh, press, and can create item analysis. Okay, next, we have the fact tutorials or the frequently asked questions. So, kung may tanong tayo about uh, using ZipGrade, pwede dyan. And dito sa answer sheets, dyan nyo nga po pwedeng i-download ang mga answer sheets. We also have the pricing. 
Okay, if you want to purchase and credits kung saan nakalagay yung licensed and agreement. So, okay. So, now, ang gagawin natin is magda-download na tayo ng um, test paper or ng answer sheet. Punta tayo sa help and tutorials again. Click answer sheet. I-click yung browser na lalabas which is the Chrome. And then, let's wait for the answer sheet to be downloaded. So, dito makakapamili tayo ng answer sheet kung ano yung gusto nating uh, gamitin. Kung gusto natin is 20 item test lang or 50 item test or even 100 item test. And, uh, pwede din siyang i-customize kung gusto ma is uh, multiple choice or even true or false and others. So, yan. Pipili lang ako dito ng um, answer sheet na gusto kong i-download. Meron din siyang PDF file or the PNG file kung photo lang siya. So, I will uh, choose the 20 item PDF file and wait for it to be downloaded on my cell phone. Okay, so ito yung itsura kong uh, dinownload ko na 20 item test answer sheet. And now, we are going to print it kung ilan po yung kailangan mong answer sheet. Next is, mag-open ulit tayo ng ZipGrade and mag-create na tayo ng name ng ating class. So, for the name of my class, as a sample, I will just type uh, grade 2 English. So, yan yung name ng class na ilalagay ko. Grade 2 English. And click OK. So, ayan. Meron na tayong name of the class next is we're going to create the quiz type in the quiz name kung ano yung name ng quiz na gusto nyong ilagay so ang ilalagay ko is summative test number 1 and then below ang ilalagay naman natin is the date kung kailan mo siya in administer so, yan. Merong date selection. And then, click the grade 2 English as your class. And, okay. 
and then choose answer sheet so i will choose the 20 question answer sheet and then ayan nakapag-create na tayo ng ating uh, quiz number one next to do is ayan ayan tingnan po natin mabuti Okay, next to do is to list down the names of all your pupils on your class. So, maglalagay tayo dito ng first name, ng last name, and ng class kung saan sila belong. So, ito automatic na siya. Meron na siyang magkakaroon na yung bawat bata ng kanya-kanyang zip grade ID and external reference. And then, click OK. So, we will do the same process for all the pupils na ilalagay natin dito sa ating grade 2 class. Whether 5 lang siya, 10 pupils, 20 pupils, or 30 pupils, or more. <laughs> Okay, so kung nailagay na natin, go back to quizzes. And then, maglalagay naman tayo ngayon ng key to correction. Click edit key. So, kung ano yung mga tamang sagot sa test mo, i-keyin mo lang dyan siya para magkaroon si zip grade ng answer sheet or ng answer key or yung tinatawag natin na key to correction. So, maglalagay ako dito ng uh, 20 correct answers. Para pag nag-check uh, si zip grade later, alam na niya kung ano yung tamang sagot na pipiliin. And then, say for example, nakapag-test uh, na sila yung mga bata, collect na natin yung papers and scan na natin yung papers nila. Paano ba mag-scan? Itatype mo lang or i-align mo lang yung squares in the view finder. And it, and it will autofocus. Yan, makakaroon agad sila ng score. As fast as that, meron agad score si Aldena 6 over 20 or equivalent to 30%. Okay, so we will do the same process. I-align lang natin ng square sa ating viewfinder para matsikan lahat ng test papers or answer sheets ng mga bata na ipinigay nila na ibinigay natin sa kanila and then automatically recorded na agad ang scores nila okay so that's for angel now let's move on to richard so his score is 0 over 20 next one let's move on to kim chu so her score is Ayan, 3 over 20 or 15%. Next one, it's for Christina. So, lahat ng to, samples lang natin. Okay, 0 din si Christina over 20 or uh, she got the 0 percentage. So, yan yung recorded scores. Yan, yung recorded scores nila. So, nakalist na agad dyan. And then, ano pa ba yung meron dito? Item analysis. So, automatic may item analysis na agad tayo sa test nila. We can get here the mean and the standard deviation or the SD. Okay. So, yan. After that. Okay. Now, we are going to export the data. Bakit? Para ma-print natin siya. So, may choices dyan. Either uh, PDF or the CSV file. So, I'll choose the PDF paper with image. 
So, ito, ida-download mo siya. You can save it on your Gmail, on your Google Drive, on your email, or even Bluetooth it on your laptop. So, for me, I will choose the G Google Drive. So, I will save it on my Google Drive. After that, pwede ko na siyang i-download using my laptop and i-print sa inyong printer. So, ano ba yung makikita sa exported file natin? Ito. Ayan. Ang record ng summative test nila individually. So, nandyan yung pangalan nila, nandyan yung scores nila, nandyan yung percentage kung saan sila tama, as well as kung saan sila mali. Okay, kung, so, kung sa tingin nyo teachers, makakatulong to sa inyo, lalo na ngayon na modular approach na tayo in teaching. So, ibig sabihin, every week marami tayong chachikan, ba? Let's use this. So, yun. Thank you po.